The Institute of Sound Recording is involved in the S3A project, and the S3A project is about revolutionising how we deliver spatial audio to the consumer. And that might be for your living room, or it might be in your car, or it might be to a mobile device. I'm John Frankham, I'm a researcher in the Institute of Sound Recording um, and I'm working on the S3A project. And what we're interested in doing in the project is really improving the experience of a listener in the home uh, uh, consuming spatial audio. So people in, uh, in home setups listen to audio in all sorts of different ways, so whether that's over stereo loudspeakers or a sound bar or 5.1 surround sound or possibly even higher channel counts um, or, or over headphones is quite common. So, uh, so we're interested in looking at all of these different ways of consuming audio and trying to work out what are the differences between, uh, between the perceptual experience of the different methods. So the first stage that we're conducting at the moment is to record lots of material using lots of different surround sound formats. So we can do experiments to find out what's important, what's best about a system that's got 20 loudspeakers, what is it that we miss when we convert that down, say, to two-channel stereo, and um, how might we do that conversion even better. By getting an understanding of what's really important to the end user, then we can optimise the systems as we go through and we come up with new ways of delivering the material or reproducing the material. So the big recording session that I'm running at the moment is really uh, designed to capture some audio material that we can use in listening tests later on. Um, and so we've got lots of different recording methods in use at the same time. Uh, the idea being that uh, we can capture the same performance and replay it over these different methods and then run some kind of experiment where we, uh, where we look at the differences between the different reproduction methods. My work to do with the new project is to uh, use a microphone array which I can place in the sound scene and I can then steer acoustically in different directions to analyse uh, the proportions of sound coming from uh, the different positions in the sound scene. With this information, I can both locate sound sources and separate audio out from different directions, which means that instead of using a stereo pair which is tied to a particular reproduction format, in fact, I can just place my microphone array in the room and uh, directly encode uh, object-based audio. So alongside the recording session, uh, I've also asked a group of listeners to come in uh, and, and listen to the real live performances in the recording room. Uh, and we've asked them to compare their experience of listening to the loudspeaker reproduction with the experience of, uh, of listening to the real thing. Um, and the idea is that then we can look at the, the data that they've written down and maybe through some group discussion or, or looking at their written data, we can, uh, we can start to see if there are any patterns that emerge in the, in the differences between real listening and reproduced listening. And then there just might be some things that we can find out here that we could uh, get some quite simple improvements to loudspeaker reproduction to really improve that experience of, uh, of listening to spatial audio.